And hello, Shock fans, your beloved soldier of the Inverted Cross, back for another Rips Robot Mode Reviews. And today, a little something special. A custom Transformers Prime Barricade. Now, the minute I've seen the smoke screen, not the smoke, well, the smoke cream, smoke cream, uh, smoke screen mold, and they said they're going to repaint it as Prowl, I was like, that Prowl would make a really cool barricade. I said that like a few months before, or however long it was. Then they were like, Transformers Collectors Club exclusive barricade from the Prowl mold, or Prowl repaint. I'm not paying 80 bucks for it, so this is close enough to the movie one, the color scheme, black and white, it works. What I did to it was, Prowl's head crest was red. I painted it uh, silver. I painted the headlights and the chest silver. I, paint, I put a Decepticon symbol on it. Uh, and for the doors here, I painted them. There we go. I painted them black and put Decepticon symbols on them. He's the guns here. He's holding are from. I think they're from Top Spin, Dark of the Moon Top Spin. And the thing's awesome, and it makes a great barricade for my collection. I'm gonna go ahead and do the size comparison since my secret mode is right here. Uh, the secret mode is about the same size as him, maybe a bit taller, but it fits in great with the Voyagers and stuff from Prime. Uh, my only gripes, I think he might be just a hair shorter than my first edition Bumblebee, and I wanted him to be a little bit taller, which it's okay. Now, articulation-wise, oh, this guy, this guy's got good articulation. I'm not gonna handle the head much, but he, his head is on a ball joint. Uh, let me see how far he can look up. I can't do that. He can't look up very far, but he can look left, right, and down. I know you can't see it, but just trust me, he can. Um, the arms are on ball joints. They can go wherever you want. The shoulder pads lift up to accommodate that. There's a bend right here in the arm. It's a pretty nice bend, on his or in his elbow, I mean. You can get good poses out of him. There is, I'm pretty sure here it's small, but there is a... Yeah, there is a waist swivel in him. And, uh, I'm sorry, but my hands usually block it, but uh, my, he does have the waist swivel. Um, ball joint hips, forward, backward, nothing to hinder it, really. Um, the knees bend, very nice bend in the knee. And the feet are the only derpy thing about this, because it's mostly the vehicle mode on the bottom here. But they can pivot. And I'm not, it's not too big of a gripe for the feet for me. And the other thing I want to say that you probably noticed and I forgot to mention, the arm kibble that transformed him into the car, I cut it off. I modded it and cut it off. I think there is a way still to transform him if you still have the kibble, which I do. But, um, yeah, I don't transform mine as I've said before. And it's a great barricade figure. It really is. I mean, it makes a good barricade and... Transformers Prime needed Barricade, and it should have been released to everyone because, hey, I blame Michael Bay for making Barricade such a popular character and a well-known character. He should have been made into something everyone could get their hands on because Bumblebee needs his ass kicked, and Barricade's the guy to do it. So, to punish and slave, um, uh, and other things he said, I'm um, a... Uh, Till next time, this is your beloved soldier of the inverted cross, signing off, farewell.